What is going on guys? Welcome back to game two of my two out of three set for the Nugget Break Inv Invitational, which is a really, 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 really prestigious online tournament. Um, and right now I'm playing game two because I just got blown back game one versus AJ, who is a player who's really good at memes. I think he's from Holland, but I wouldn't bet on that. I'm really sorry, AJ. I, I should know where you are. Uh, I just don't. So uh, AJ has a really unique team. I should Dinja. And last time I lost game one, turn one, because of... Um, <laughs> Because he Thunderwave to Shedinja, which is really, really bad. So, um, we're going to go ahead and hit battle start here. The problem is that, so I kind of expect AJ to bring, not, like, to bring, like, his Xerneas mode this game. And I'm wondering if I have the tools to stop that. That's kind of where I am right now. So I definitely need Rayquaza, I think. Uh, I think Rayquaza is super important, and more important, preservingly, like preserving Rayquaza, I think is really, really important here. So, um, yeah. The question is where, right? So, like, Instinct tells me that AJ is going to go Xerneas this game, and so I'd like to bring Gengar again, but <laughs> it's super, super risky because if he goes Shedinja, like, that Groudon Executor lead was really, really threatening because... Um, as long as he has a Groudon Executor, like, I have to call the turn one correctly. Like, if I go Fake Out Taunt, I lose, and he, if he goes Eruption, if I, like, if he goes Psychic, I lose, um. Yeah. Unless I bring, unless I bring Rayquaza and back over, over, um. So I could either go Gengar... I can either go, I think I'm bringing top up front regardless. So I either go Gengar top Kyogre Rayquaza or Rayquaza top Kyogre Bronze on. Um, and just rely on Rayquaza to get rid of Shedinja. Seems risky. Seems super risky. This doesn't even work if you bring Xerneas because, like, for obvious reasons. Okay. I need to win this game. I need to win this game. Or else this is the end of the Nugget Bridge Invitational. 0-2 to Shedinja. Smeargle Xerneas. Okay. So I, I, did, I did call that lead correctly. Smeargle... Xerneas, um, this has the chance of being something like Soak Smeargle or Scarf Smeargle. Um, but unfortunately, we're not going to be able to find that out just yet. So, uh, oof. This is a really difficult turn one. I expect AJ knows what he's doing. I did correctly call the Smeargle Xerneas, so I assume he has Groudon and probably Shedinja in back. Um, do I have a better move? Fake out into Smeargle, Sludge Bomb into... I kind of want to go Mega Evolve Taunt. Into Smeargle. I'm afraid of the Scarf and, like, the Protect Turn 1. I can also go Faint, so I think I'm going to do this. Um, he stays in, so he's staying in for as long as Gengar sticks around, but this could go really badly. Um, I'm kind of expecting... I hope Protect Xerneas and, and Scarf uh, Smeargle, but... Unfortunately, it doesn't protect, so Fake Out comes out. I should have just Sludge Bombed, I guess, but it didn't. Um, it was Scarf, or it could have been Fake Out there, So, mm, but it's pretty slow. So I'll go for Taunt here, um, and he's going to fall for the Taunt, and Xerneas gets the Geomancy up. So Smeargle is Scarf, and Xerneas gets the Geo. So well played on his part. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what, what my better move would have been there. If I had Bronze on him back, this would be really nice. But I did bring Rayquaza because I was afraid of the Shedinja. So, um, I'm kind of tempted to go Close Combat into Xerneas and Sludge Bomb. But maybe Wide Guard is more optimal. Um, Wide Guard is probably more optimal. I think I'm going to Close Combat and Sludge Bomb into Xerneas. Yeah. It could have been follow me. It wasn't necessarily scarf. Um, I shouldn't write scarf. I should just write not MH.
fake out, so he's locked into fake out now, which is nice. Moonblast comes out, so wide guard was correct, or correct not call. So he does uh, Moonblast into Gengar, should be living. Um, hopefully not a special attack drop. Ah, uh, that's super unfortunate. That's going to change things a lot, unfortunately. So Sludge Bomb will come out here, going to do 0, 0.00 damage, and Poison, which is huge. That's actually super, super, super important. Um, and I'll go for a close combat, which is good. Going to do just a tad bit of damage there. Um... But it might be enough to put him into extreme speed range after two turns of poison. So, um, yeah. Uh, okay, so my play this turn, I'm going to close combat into Xerneas and protect, counting on the fact that maybe faint is better. Counting on the fact that. If he goes, if if I can, I'm, I'm I'm basically I'm saying I'm okay to trade Hitmontop here, um, for the free Rayquaza switching and the maintain Shadow Tag on the field. Assuming that it's kind of risky though, because what if Extreme Speed doesn't KO at that range? I think it should. Extreme Speed is not very strong, but Xerneas after another turn of Poison will not be doing that much damage. Let me think. I need to actually think. Sorry, guys. I'm going to stop talking. I need to actually think. Based on the damage from close combat, I'm going to make the assumption, and the damage from Sludge Bomb, I'm going to make the assumption that he is not physically bulky, and I, I'm going to make this move. So I will go for Protect here. I'm okay losing. He might Dazzle and Gleam. I feel like it's kind of the AJ move right now. Um, he goes for Fake Out because he has no choice. He goes for Moonblast into top. Okay, so good move on his part. Um, covering for everything. I guess the Protect was pretty obvious there, but uh, I'm still okay with the position because um, I'm counting on Extreme Speed doing enough at this range. Should be, yeah, it's in red, so uh, I think that it should be doing enough um, here. And I will go for Rayquaza here. So Rayquaza coming in is good um, for a number of reasons. Uh, I'm going to go for the extreme speed into, into Xerneas to try and pick up the KO. Um, and should I just KO both here? Does that, does that make more sense? I think it might make more sense to get rid of Smeargle because I don't really, I want to be able to switch Gengar out when he brings in Groudon. So I think I will be switching in. I think I will just sludge bomb the Smeargle here. I don't, I don't really want it to stick around any longer. Because even though I could trap him on the field, like, uh, next turn, if he brings in Groudon, I'm going to want Gengar out for, for Kyogre, I think. Um, and so, be, like, with that in mind, I just don't want to... And I'm not even sure minus one Sludge Bomb KO. So, he goes for a Fake Out. We really need Extreme Speed to pick up the KO here. I think it should, but it's never it's never a guarantee. So, Extreme Speed comes out. Bar I think that was close. I think that was actually super close. So, it barely picks up the KO. I was really fortunate by, for me. And then Sludge Bomb will come out. Might not KO, but we'll do... Uh, that's probably enough. Yeah. So, we, I get the KO there. So... Um, yeah, okay. I need to be careful. This is probably Shedinja. That's Groudon, and let's see who the last one is. Probably Shedinja. Yeah. I need to be very, very, very careful here, because um, if he doubles into Rayquaza with Sash, I lose. So I think my general plan here is, wait, okay, let me think of this. this, this should be doable. Shedinja is the last. Oh, okay. I have a Dragon Ascent. I also have a Kyogre in back. I also can taunt, but if he, so what's the worst case scenario if I do this? Shedinja protects any earth powers. And then it's a mind game? No, I can do this. Ready? Here's what I'll do. Okay, the, re the reasoning is that when Kyogre comes... So Kyogre will come in. Worst case scenario is I lose Gengar and Shedinja doesn't protect. But even in that scenario, then I've got Taunt on Groudon, so he can't... Um, so he can't protect, so I can go Water Spout to pick up the KO on Groudon. And then I should have Sash Rayquaza versus Shedinja. So we'll see if this works. Um, it might have been better to let Smeargle stick around in hindsight. 
but I could have gone protect Kyogre, switch into or protect Gengar, switch into Kyogre. That was probably smarter, honestly. So I think I think I did make a misplay here. So Kyogre is gonna come in. Um, it's gonna set some nice rainy on the field. Uh, okay, and let's go ahead. Ideally, she didn't protect any erupts. That would be the, that would be the ideal situation. So rip in the grave does protect. So I didn't. I think I think I made the optimal move here. Um, I could have protected Gengar. That might have been better. Ah, that was definitely better. I'm an idiot. I'm so stupid. Hopefully this is eruption though. Okay, so it's Thunder Wave. So. I actually really like this position. I think that I might actually have a chance at winning this. I'm going to go for a Water Spout here, and um, I think a Will-O-Wisp. I think that's the best play, honestly. Shedinja is so terrifying. Gengar connects with Will-O-Wisp. Thank you. So as long as Kyogre makes it through the turn, which I believe it should, because I think we're going to find out Groudon's last move here. It's a rupture. He doesn't want to show me. He, he says that he, he doesn't want to show me, um, which is actually very clever. He, I think he lost this game regardless. So, oh, goodness, guys. This was very very stressful but we still have game three to play so um i did correctly manage that that game um but it's uh it's not over yet because aj has one more shot and i have one more shot to make this to like turn this one around so shedinja is a huge pain uh but it will be <laughs> this was worth it just for that um yes i've got a will in hindsight instead of playing for a closet um yeah this game is just it's so so difficult to know like, you have to be planning several turns ahead. Uh, key mistake in this game, I think, was KOing Smeargle because um, I think that I definitely had a safer move, but I got scared. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you enjoyed this battle, please make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you weren't already. Um, also, let me know any feedback in the comments below because um, this is Serious Mode Wolf, who you guys don't see that often, but uh, I hope you enjoy him because he has to come out sometimes. Um, yes, I will see you guys for Game 3. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.